Okay, I'm pretty happy with how Rainy's been turning out. There hasn't been, I haven't posted a lot of videos. Life hit me in the face with a frying pan. But she's a keeper. Super smart. Brain still moves way too fast. Um, couldn't have done it without Lester. No way can you raise one of these puppies without Lester. Or without a dog. Uh, like Lester. You know, having a mature dog when training a puppy is one thing. Having a mature dog when training a feral puppy, a puppy that was never <clears throat> um, given a mom to suckle, had to fight for food uh, from the second it was born. Uh, it teaches you a lot about trauma. And, um, God, I wish I would have raised more dogs, you know, at this level. Before I had kids, I don't think my kids would be as kids. Let's just leave it at that. So please hit the like, subscribe, share, notifications, all that jazz. I always forget to put that stuff in there and I hate hearing it, but um, I really wanna push this channel through to monetization. I looked at property up north and we've got a location for the, the dog rescue where I wanna open 200 acres and take on lots of dogs because we're gonna need it, it's coming fast. But in all seriousness, I do wish I raised these two dogs before I raised kids. It taught me a hell of a lot more about rules, boundaries, enforcement, and what that does to a personality when they have rules, boundaries, and rules Ooh. that are enforced. Um, Rainy was a tough dog. She is a tough dog. I mean, she's relentless. I mean, just look at this. Do you remember the original video of her as a little puppy digging? I mean, she just goes and goes. If anybody's known anybody to have any anxiety disorders or even bipolar, the behavior is similar. What I mean by that is when the brain activates, when it's time to move on, or when, you know, if we go anywhere, if I walk into the kitchen, she's so determined to win, to be the top dog, to be bonded to me more than Lester. You can just see it in her eyes. I mean, her eyes start to vibrate. Her tongue kind of curls over on itself. It's, it's really kind of crazy to see. But I think what I want people to take most out of this is, you know, I couldn't have done this without Lester, but I wasn't quite aware of how much trauma I would be putting Lester through in having him help me with this. Now, a working dog will help you until they die. They, they literally will do what it takes whenever it takes it. And this breed, the McNabb breed is, is known to be a breed like that, um, even though it's not a recognized breed. But I feel a little bad, you know, I, I changed his personality. We almost lost him over the 4th of July. Uh, he's never been afraid of, afraid of fireworks and he was given anxiety. And from a guy who's gone through two uh, pretty toxic divorces, that anxiety, I, I, I see how that anxiety um, was kind of burned into him. Now, I think things are gonna get better. The dogs are getting along great. Um, they go out every night for 15, 20 minutes, just the two of them. You can hear them up on the hill, you know, chasing squirrels or whatever. And uh, I think in the long run, it's gonna be great. But um, it was a hell of a lot more work than I thought. So I didn't do everything right. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not a pro. Um, I didn't do treats. We do treats every once in a while. I'll give him a little slice of craft single. Rainy knows the sound of a craft single. But uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Almost to the goal of monetizing this channel. And then we're gonna switch some gears and I think we'll get into some stuff that will really be fun. Hey, hey. You had two good runs today. It's 10.30.
It's 1030. It's time to get in bed. Go get on your 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 bed. Lester doesn't want to play. It's late.